Okay. <laughs> there we go. Got our name. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm comfortable enough with Master Mode to do this on Master. <laughs> Crimson Rod Hype? Oh, yeah! Both of the... Mage... Evil weapons from Orbs. <laughs> Crimson Rod's probably the better one. All right, so immediately infection spread disabled, difficulty expert, turn off increased interaction range. I guess because I chose journey mode, I even start with a iron short sword. All of my starting tools are usable as weapons. Oh, uh, Finch Staff is illegal. Not because of letters, but because it's the starting Finch Staff. <laughs> if I find one, it would be legal. Just using this because it's got hold to attack. <laughs> Get the magic mirror where I'm used to having it. Throw away grappling hook. I'll accept the torches and rope. I think I normally do. <laughs> Tried to dash with my shield of Cthulhu. Turns out I don't have one. Oh, right, the wings. Yeah, everything else is acceptable. Let's get wood researched. Oop, mushroom. Immediate radar. That's not my pick. Might as well equip it. Blow pipe? It's allowed. I thought it was called blow gun, but that might be the hard mode one. Wow. What is this series of chests? I have just stumbled into the greatest seed of all time. <laughs> yeah, boots. Uh, okay. Cool and normal. Can't jump out of water effectively. You got Dune Rider boots 20 hours into your playthrough. Sure you get it in five minutes, sure. Let's go deeper. Oh, there's a water chest. There are just so many chests. But how do I get past the slimes? 
Yeah, because of the water, they're not even gonna stay lit on fire. Alright, I might drown. Oh, hey, a trident. Maybe the letter I was too easy. Oh, and then I die and drop an entire gold. <laughs> should have just stayed in the dip. Well, should have at least looked at my uh, breath meter. I think I will attempt to retrieve the gold. Especially because we can just run over there. Next time, Q. Uh, hmm. Q, huh? Oh, I should maybe get some of this lead. I mean, also I should get blowpipe ammo. I got a seed there. Man, blowpipe is what I wanted to find immediately in my strange range. Or er, strange ranged, yeah. That's exactly how those words are pronounced. Um. I think I ended up not having a weapon until, like, snowball cannon. <laughs> You've got my money. I should build a house so a merchant can possibly spawn. Imagine being able to clip kill slimes. Yeah. Feeling pretty powerful right now with the ability to kill slimes. That's why we chose expert mode. <laughs> nah, there were many reasons. Yeah, let's actually try to get a piggy bank before I go die off to the right. We've got quad barreled shotgun, aqua scepter, and queen spider staff. Hmm, that's a list of weapons. <laughs> Oh, for Q. I hadn't actually noticed that was the thing in common between them. This is a bit lower than I usually make my housing. So I guess you try to beat the final boss with a quad-barreled shotgun? I don't actually remember how good or bad that weapon is. Hard mode guide starts with fire arrows, he's awesome. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a pre-hard mode weapon? Queen Spider Staff is very early hard mode. I don't have a net yet. Queen Spider Staff is the only hard mode weapon on the list. Hmm. 
feel like you might need to add like one or two other letters to make that playthrough doable. I don't really actually feel like just waiting around for the merchant. Oh, I have chests. I could put everything but 50 silver into a chest. So you'd like break a gold. <laughs> there we go. Merchant can spawn, but most of my money is protected. <laughs> okay, you can also have the name of e Elon Musk's kid. All right. How many of those letters actually get used in Terraria? Okay, wooden boomerang is not allowed. Let's see, enchanted boomerang is also not allowed. It's not okay, boomer. Have a hook yet? <laughs> oh, I should probably actually get those gems. Speaking of not having a hook, it's so weird going from like end game to <laughs> early game. It's like, wait a minute, gems matter like a lot, they're not just money. Platinum. I thought it was silver. I guess if silver isn't in the world, what is the alternative to silver? It's like tungsten? I don't think I've seen that. Wait, where did I get a flare gun? I guess one of the chests. <laughs> that would make sense. Do I dig or do I climb back out? Also, that watercolor implies desert nearby? Maybe we, if we do dig, don't dig to the left. I just don't want to deal with water right now. Although, hmm, the glow there is tempting. Okay, we're just gonna die to a red slime, which is gonna make all our decisions for us about where to go. The answer would be back to base in that case. I did place a torch just directly behind me. <laughs> Probably be at about max HP by the time I even get there. Big 
through the silt for a brief speed increase. I hope this at least has a mushroom chest in it. I also hope I don't die to that giant shelly. If there's another giant shelly there, it's of course completely acceptable to die to it. But that one, not okay. Is that cobweb or st I think it's stone with moss on it. Okay, there's a gold chest. Out of all the chest types I might have expected in a mushroom biome, that was not one of them. I'm actually a little surprised that's not a water chest, but maybe the water would have needed to be two tiles deep. not my speed. Alright, you're a little too fast. Oh, whoa. Alright, the enemies have been defeated. We get another flare gun. Not even allowed to use it as a weapon. There's a life crystal. If I can get past those two black slimes. Turns out I can. I think this playthrough already might be more than I've ever used a trident. Well, for combat purposes, at least. Oh yeah, it actually even makes me fast in the water. Used it for that purpose in the, um, the one like Zelda map. Just didn't actually fight with it much. All right, um, did I not pick that up because of inventory space? Seems like it. Yum. <laughs> oh, wait, I can just move. Thought I placed a torch there, but apparently I didn't. Is it silver or... More platinum. And I accidentally shot a flare. But at least it didn't hit an enemy, thus making the playthrough invalid. Except normally I'm not too concerned about arbitrary tools hitting enemies. Unless it's like completely breaking the progression to do so. Destroy this boulder before I go down there. Nope. Also trying to fall to the left to avoid fall damage. Oh wow. Uh oh, this is for the boulder trap. I was like, why is there a pressure plate here? All 
All right. Wow, that fire doesn't last long. <laughs> We're gonna get him. That's the problem. <laughs> I'll be Moon Lord this session at this rate, yeah, with all the luck I'm having. I mean, we'll at least get Rod of Discord this session, right? Okay. I don't actually know how much damage a nymph deals. I was really concerned I'd just, like, get one shot. <laughs> got a ranged attack oh no <laughs> the skeleton got me oh but the nymph picked up money <laughs> all right well let's uh get a few things out of our inventory Did I actually want any of that? I would like my magic mirror, actually. <laughs> uh, I mean, sure, keep the hammer and axe with me. Um... Congrats on falling asleep at the wheel during basically a mini boss. To be fair, it wasn't the mini boss that got me. All right, so yeah, it was down this way. None of those trident thrusts hit that enemy. Oh, there wasn't water there anymore. Of course. Yeah, but there's water down there. Just can't hit slimes down slopes. Oh, it was you that picked up money and not the nymph. Okay, so going back down there was actually not very purposeful. Skeletons too strong. I thought they both picked up some. All right. Get some silver out so that the merchant could possibly spawn and then like go somewhere else. Like seeing whatever's to the left here. I guess I thought it was a, yeah, a desert because of the water color. But maybe I can get just a little cactus and leave. 
Honestly, Trident might have enough knockback with its multiple hits to be able to get through the desert. Especially because I can just run through the oasis. I'm sure that's extremely helpful. a very narrow desert. Oh, and then immediately corruption is what's next. I wonder if I put any bombs in that chest I just did a deposit all to. Ow. Ow. Oh, they got me. I think the spawn rate's high enough that I wouldn't actually be able to just fight everything on my way through. Alright, let's attempt once to retrieve the gold and then just leave it if I die again. Blowpipe. Alright. So, what's in the other direction? Me destroying every flower in the world. Except sunflowers. And, you know, the other ones that need harvested with the pickaxe. Alright, I guess a double jump would be the next thing I'd really want, but I don't think you get those on the surface. And I just want to see what the surface looks like. Maybe we'll get a step stool. Yeah, the celebration seed? Yeah, I've heard of it. It did some things to the boss encounters that I just wasn't interested in trying. Gus the Merchant. I misread his name as Guns the Merchant. I was like, you don't sell guns. What if there was a Guns the Arm Dealer? Or Arms Dealer? So that went nowhere. Oh, snowstorm. <laughs> Imagine if you could find ice golems pre-hard mode. We'd just hear the laser sound and I'd immediately die. I guess could go down and look for flanks. Maybe also get ice skates 
Because my luck this seed. a good amount of shiver thorn although I think I just harvested a unbloomed one there chest. Another blowpipe. That one's quick, which is better than nothing. Oh, didn't see the slime there. Here's the dungeon. Obviously, it's time to fight Skeletron. <laughs> Early dungeon hype. Right, I guess I'll see if I can make it through the corruption. Or crimson, whatever this is. place platforms where I want them. Just place a bunch. Some of them will land in a useful spot. Yeah, I'm thinking if we're already past the dungeon... Oh yeah, this is a medium world. Whoa. Game decided to lag there. Yeah, maybe we can get Angler. Got something in you. Yeah, a lot of money. Tried to talk to him as I ran by, but didn't quite work. It's a dolphin. Okay, so it doesn't have one of those caves, and I didn't mouse over a chest anywhere in here. But we went in and out, all the way to the edge of the world, and lived to tell the tale. Alright, let's just warp. Maybe I should already start on organization. This is gonna be the actually organized playthrough. <laughs> you know, just so that we do something different. <laughs> What's that? 
right. I guess I usually at least have like a plant's chest. So this part's not new. And like a metal's chest. Oh yeah, potions can go in the piggy bank. Uh, but only after I put them in my actual inventory. Okay, more seeds. This is kind of a potion. that cactus and then like ignored the fact that I had cactus. Hmm. I'm not sure it's worth buying an anvil. Um, I probably have stone in this chest. Yeah. Furnace. Lead anvil. Cactus armor? Yeah, I guess in... Oh, I only had enough for one piece of armor. It at least had defense. It's not like the wood set. Okay. Yeah, I don't quite need cactus pickaxe as much when you start journey mode with an iron pickaxe. Yeah, it's worse. Oh, lead helmet has way more defense than the cactus. Anyway, let's get buckets researched. Maybe kill some zombies in case of shackle drop. are at a stage in the game where Shackle does something. Let's just open the herb bag. Interesting. These can all be sold. Guns actually sell decently. Maybe I want the mining helmet. <laughs> it would just feel bad having made the cactus helmet only to uh, never use it. Oh, I should get a bug net. I guess what else was my cactus gonna do? Few bombs. Oh, that's where the flares ended up, of course. Quick stack our money and maybe try to get a crimson uh, something. The, the rain thing. <laughs> yes, the something. Grab some death weed too? Oh yeah, that would be good. Get 
with some fallen stars too, apparently. I tried to bait him into jumping to run under, but then he didn't jump. I don't really want to be fighting as many enemies as I have been in this area. Alright, a bit easier to place torches when it's uh, a walled background. Whoop! Can't be work, right? I'm not on call. 814 something something. I probably shouldn't have given away the area code. Swipe down to decline. Why am I so bad at phones? Okay. Yeah, ever since I moved, if a call comes from my original area code, it's like definitely spam. You recognize the ring but can't place it? Uh. This crimson is weird. It didn't really go anywhere. Why do I only have one gel? I must have uh, deposited all my gel away, but it should really be in an ammo slot, so that shouldn't happen. Uh, it's gonna be hard to bomb sideways with only one gel. I also seem to have gotten rid of my platforms, but we have plenty of wood. I think left is actually the direction to go to get the crimson proper. Because it's got the actual crimson background instead of the, the dirt walls. <laughs> That spider's stranded, it doesn't have anything to climb on. Oh, that's not how I wanted the bomb to roll. I think I do need to make a sticky bomb. I guess I could have also just like gone all the way back up and used the proper entrance. Hmm. Sure is a lot of spiders stacked up. Uh oh. <laughs> now I'm surrounded. All right. Living. Water chest. <laughs> oh no. This isn't gonna work. I need one more gel. Maybe there's a heart that's directly down. Oh, a dirt cradle, you're right. Or I guess since wood's on my bar. Just 
do it with wood. Especially since I've researched wood but not dirt. Um, Alright, Undertaker, not usable. But that was also guaranteed. Oh no. <laughs> to win at video games, you must place blocks. I don't know, in Terraria, placing blocks? Wish I could see. Okay. Ah! The power of placing blocks. <laughs> Except I think I'm a little too close to where the bomb explosion's gonna be happening. Or no, uh, maybe. <laughs> Hashtag winning. I think if I'm standing here and the bomb's down here, I'll be safe. Then we make our wooden dirt cradle again. Hey, easy. Get exactly the crimson rod. Not that I would have minded a band of regen or something. That's that's what can drop, right? Uh, Alright, probably better than Wand of Sparking by enough that I'm not ever going to use the Wand of Sparking again. <laughs> have enough max MP? Oh wait, you can only cast one anyway. I was gonna say, have enough max MP to deploy two. Oh, there are my stars. I don't think I quite have enough. Yeah, here's my gel. Let's get that with us. All right, a successful expedition to the Crimson. Seven minutes till Moon Lord. Yeah, if he's happening this stream, that would be the conclusion. I think if I, like, suddenly downloaded directly into my brain every single journey mode speedrun tactic, it could be, like, seven minutes to Moon Lord. Oh, but you also need to, like, make worlds in advance with specific seeds and things. Yeah, I think even if I knew everything about speedrunning Terraria and lifted the only eye weapons restriction and played on journey difficulty. Actually, I guess they move back and forth difficulties in the speedrun. They make beehives, spawn master mode bees, bait them into enemies and set it to journey mode. <laughs> Something like that. It's really silly. Anyway, uh, let's see, what else do we want to do in the actual seven minutes and not the fantasy seven minutes? I could see what's past the corruption. Could build a house for the angler. Okay, that's not. That's the dungeon. Okay. Man, that dungeon is really far from the edge of the world, actually. Right? I'd expect it more like here. Build a heavy workbench and make a letter I statue. Uh, how do you actually make a heavy workbench? I think I've made like one ever. Um, guide, is it made of wood? Uh, 
Same way you make everything in this game iron? Of course. Does it also involve wood, though? Oh, it's by the cooking pot? All right. Uh, there it is. Eight iron bars, 12 wood. Oh, I didn't... I wanted to check the crafting station, but it's probably either the anvil or the workbench, right? Um, there it is. For some reason, not by the... I guess because of all the iron recipes, yeah. Does it go? Arbitrarily down there. Okay. Let's see, I guess maybe I also want a cooking pot. And oh right, it takes a chain to make a sawmill. I think I also still need iron and I've used it all. I guess it's technically lead, but you know, if it says any iron bar, right, I guess this is still the miscellaneous chest, isn't it? Uh, I didn't favorite my bunnies. That seems incorrect. Let's see, this is not a material. All that luck with drops and no chain? I mean, you make chain. And now I have chain, but I... Oh wait, I have ore. Did you, did you know that you can make bars out of ore? Uh, I know it's pretty advanced, much like placing blocks. Oh yeah, I don't have a hook yet. Boom. Uh, there wasn't actually anything I wanted to make with the loom. I just wanted to have one It looms large Two minutes. Made the eye. Hmm, actually, it'd be funny if I researched the eyes and carried a whole stack of them around. <laughs> we can place these wherever we beat a boss in addition to at our home. Or maybe just at every home location, put an eye. Oh, actually, I need a second piggy bank to carry around, and these can be in the bank. Travel piggy bank? Do I want hay? Not really. Although I am permitted to attack with the sickle. No, that's not what I want. All right, anything else not belong in here? Because it has an actual place. Uh, gems I typically put with metals. Acorn is a plant, yeah? There we go.
Checking whether the inner tube actually had a modifier, because I didn't take note of that earlier. Hmm. Well, guess it's noon. <laughs> so that will be it for this part. Next week, I'm probably going to play Slay the Spire. But... I think I'll definitely will, at some point, continue the I playthrough. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya!